Hi, Roy again here. We're back to work in our gingerbread house. A couple of things, we're gonna put up two walls today. Uh, I wanna mention a couple of things. First of all, our, we have eight walls in our house. You need to number your walls. Walked around the house and measured it. You start one, two, three, four, and we ended up having eight pieces. If you don't do that, you're gonna get this far into this and not know what walls walk. We're gonna do number wall number two and three today because they're the two biggest ones and I want them to sit and dry. This, since the last, is hard as rocks. So it, it's gonna help me to handle it, makes it a little bit easier to handle. All right, I'm using a uh, half inch plywood here as my base. You can use foam core or any sort of solid piece of anything that'll, that'll hold the weight of the, of, the, of the project. This is a pretty heavy piece, so I had to use what I, what I had to use. It'll give the, a nice wood floor to the inside and we'll clean it up and I'll show you that in a couple of videos. I drew the floor plan on this piece of wood so that I would have an idea where everything would sit as, as well as give me room for the, the decorations that I will want it later on. All right, so the first thing I want to do is lay a border on, on the line that I already have, okay? And he sits in. Now the fact that there's white here is not gonna make any difference because eventually I will whiten this whole board to make it look like snow. We're going to lay a couple of cans up next to this. I have a combination square, which I'm sure I have relative 90 degrees here. Nothing's going to be worse than finding a house that's like, like a crooked old man's house. Okay, we'll let that sit. They give it just a little bit of additional support. It's sort of like caulking your bathtub. All right, now again, I want to make sure I have a 90 degree here. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that's it. And we let this boy sit. You cannot hurry this. In time, it will be strong and solid, but you cannot hurry this. And once we get all the walls up, then we'll do the little decorations on the outside of the house. We'll put a couple of bushes here. This is the back of the house, actually. A couple of pine trees here, but most of the stuff will be out front. I wonder why that seemed like a pretty good idea. We put little pieces of plastic on the inside of here that we glued with, with royal icing very early on in the project. Um, that allowed me to, to put the window, the little brown crisscrosses across the window, like the house is. And that's, it's, you can do that. If, you ha if you're into a house that has to be completely edible, if you're into competition or something, use gelatin sheets. It'll, you can use that for that. Right? Now I'm going to put the insides together. And here we'll, now we wait. That's it. 